Okay, what I have here is a replacement cylinder and piston, um, the old material actually, old parts, out of a Honda 250cc uh, three-wheeler, those powered tricycles. Um, student of mine had one of them, thought he had done some damage to his cylinder, so he bought a, a replacement cylinder and piston kit. Um, this thing came as a unit, so did the piston. Okay, um, Look at the piston first, real quick. Um, interesting thing about this piston is that it actually has holes in the skirt on the one side. This actually becomes part of the flow of uh, mixture. Okay, the, This works with the ports. Okay, um, If you notice your piston has two rings that have no slots in them. These are compression rings. There is no oil ring because again two-stroke engines don't have oil in the crankcase. Not liquid oil. So you're not controlling oil. Uh, minor trivia for any of you that work with two-stroke at all. If you look really closely here where the ring gap is. Um, I'm going to pop this ring out real quick. The, uh, the end of the ring has a special shape. Come here. Okay. If you look at the end of the ring real carefully, when I close that ring, it doesn't actually create a flat joint. Okay, The end of the ring actually has a little notch in it. And that notch is very important because inside the piston right in there is a little pin. And that's to make sure that the end of this piston ring, the gap of the piston has to stay in the same spot all the time. On a four stroke engine, uh, it's actually desirable for the rings to migrate around. And in fact, there's some interesting design in, in high end, you know, well, car engines and so on, um, where they actually design angles into the ring to promote the movement of the ring so that instead of it staying in the same spot all the time that it actually kind of moves around like this while the engine's running and that helps to keep the engine wear more consistent okay in a two-stroke engine you have those ports on the side of the cylinders and you cannot have a gap end of the of the ring go past one of those ports because if it does picture that you got a hole in the side of the cylinder and the pistons going up and down past that hole if the gap of the ring goes into that opening it allows the ring to open just a little bit and then the ring can catch on the edge of the port and invariably what happens is that it breaks the rings so two stroke pistons are designed so that they cannot rotate around okay so they have an actual pin right there for that ring and then if you look below the second ring, there's another pin right inside there. I'll compress that ring and hopefully you can kind of see a little round shape in there. But that pin and this pin are not lined up. You don't want the gaps lined up because it makes it easier for pressure to sneak past during a compression and a, and a power event. Um, so they're not lined up. But those pins are very carefully located to make sure that the gaps in the rings are located in a precise spot and so what they do is they look at the design of the cylinder they look at where the actual ports are and then they make sure that they they make sure that they index the ring okay where's the you know where are the ports okay then the ring can go like this right and then they'll put the appropriate pin in the piston to make sure that it's in that spot okay if you're going to play around with these motors what you have to be careful of first of all you gotta know those things are there and if you put a ring in and don't have the ring centered on the pin I mean while, the, while you're putting the ring in you could actually rotate it past okay I don't know if this will show up on the camera but right there is a little wee gap that shows me where that where that pin is the ring actually is now sitting on top of the pin I can't get the ring to sit in there Okay, and so because um, it can't because it's sitting on that pin and then if we try to put this piston into the cylinder you won't be able to compress the rings and it won't fit and if you um, channel your inner teenager and just start banging on it with a hammer uh, you're gonna break the you're gonna break the rings 
and you might do more damage than that. So those little pins, very, very important.